Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush and in our today's lecture, we'll be discussing about vacuuming in PostgreSQL. What is this? Let us try to understand in a very, very simple way. So to make you understand about the vacuuming, let me take one example. Let's say you have one table is there. Okay. Now this is my table. And under this table, we have these two columns are there like ID, name. Let's take an example, like one more column, like salary. Okay. So this is the way how it looks. Okay. Let me draw it one more time. It's not looking way. So it is like ID is there. Then we have name is there and then we have salary. Okay. And here we have a records like one and the name of person is, let's say Ankush and his salary is 10,000. Okay. So normally this is my table. Okay. So what do you want to do now on this table, you are going to perform operations like, let's say you are doing delete operations or let's say you are doing update operations. Let's take an example. I'm changing his salary from 1000 to 2000. How? By using the update command, you change the salary of Ankush from 1000 to 2000, right? So normally what will happen in the PostgreSQL, it follows the architecture, we call it as a MVCC, MVCC. What does it do? So in MVCC, what will happen? If you update the salary from 1000 to 2000, it doesn't change the salary immediately. What I mean to say, it will keep 1000 also and it will keep 2000 also. So basically the record which you are trying to update, it will keep the snapshot of your previous salary, which is my 1000. So basically it will take a space for 1000 salary also, and it will take the space for your 2000 also. What I mean to say, we were having a 1000 salary. Okay. You change the salary from 1000 to 2000. But basically what PostgreSQL will do, it will keep the snapshot of your previous salary. It will keep the snapshot of your previous salary in the table only. So basically it is taking the space for your 1000 also and 2000 also. So you will have a situations in the database where you will find that even though you have updated or let's say you have deleted also. I'll give the same example. Let's say in future you deleted this record. You have deleted this record by using delete command you delete it. But still you will find that this table is consuming this space and the space is not available on your operating system level even though you have deleted this record. Because because what will happen, it will take, it will keep the snapshot of your deleted record also, as well as your updated record also. And that snapshot is consuming the space on your operating system. Now DBA team is saying that we do not have a sufficient space. Even though we have deleted a table, we do not have a sufficient space available on my database level. So what I supposed to do? There this activity comes into the picture we called it as a vacuuming so what it will do the records which you have deleted or updated that is like a dead tuple these are all my data tuple and what it will do by using this vacuum technology it will remove this dead tuple it will remove this dead tuple and it will create a space for your new record so this is there are two type of vacuumings are available one option is like okay one option is like let me show you here so we here we are doing now we are going to discuss about vacuuming because we want to release the space on the operating system level also or for the new record we need a space so what we will do we will use vacuuming so we have plain vacuuming is there, plain vacuuming. What does it mean? In the plain vacuuming, what will happen? 
the date tuple let's say i have this date tuple is there this date tuple will be removed but it will not but it will not release the space on your operating system level not space available on operating system level the table on which the table on which you are going to do the vacuuming what it will do it will release the space but not on operating system it will provide the space for your new record so new record can come and it will utilize the date tuple space but my question is that but my worry is i want the space to be available on my operating system level also in that case you can go with full vacuuming full vacuuming so what it will do in full vacuuming it will remove those date tuple it will remove those date tuple as well as it will provide space on operating system level also so those dot date tuple which were consuming the space now it got deleted because we are doing a full vacuuming and it will provide you space on your operating system level for your new records also so that is the main difference between plain vacuuming and full vacuuming but remember one thing that in plain vacuuming what will happen on the table where you are doing the vacuuming operations you can perform your dml operations you can perform your dml operations so basically your your table will not be locked your table will not be locked you cannot do alter operation you cannot do alter operation that is not possible but dml operation you can perform when your vacuuming is going on in full vacuuming it will create exclusive lock exclusive lock means now when you are performing full vacuuming on the table because i need a space on my operating system level you cannot perform any operations like dml operations is not possible when you are doing full vacuuming so normally what dba team will do if they want to do plain vacuuming or full vacuuming depending upon your project requirement we try to schedule it either you can try to create a script schedule it into the cron tab but run this in non business hour when you are running it in your non business hour when when you are running it in non business hour mostly when your clients are not available so that's all about the vacuuming so there are some background processes are there which will do the vacuuming you can automate the vacuuming also all these things we are going to see practically and i'm going to discuss everything practically in our next lecture i hope you people are understanding this concept and if you have any questions queries anything please put it into the comment sections and if you think that i'm doing a good job and you need more video on postgres sql in the comment section you just need to mention interested interested just add a comment like interested so i'll get to know that okay you people are watching my videos and i'll definitely create a new videos on postgres sql apart from this apart from this if you are looking for training real time trainings on postgres sql dba if you are looking for training you can reach out to the learnomate team the numbers are available over the screen as well as in the description of this video please follow us on our social media platforms like linkedin you can join our whatsapp group instagram and let me know if you have any questions queries and do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel also bye bye and we'll see you with the next video regarding postgres sql